Hello folks, my name is Mark, this is Mark's Toy Reviews, how you guys doing? So this is a fun little set that I've completed lately. Um, what it is, they're Bendy Monsters from a company called Accruitments that came out in 2006. Although, I know that these sculpts predate them, at least some of these sculpts predate these, and in particular this Hydra right here. Um, it's like you can kind of see that sort of, you know, five-headed Hydra thing. I know that this is, at least this one, is older than the rest of these. Um, predates 2006. I don't know. I don't know if the rest of them predate 2006 or what. I mean, they do kind of look like stuff that came out in the 70s, right? And I've always kind of loved, like, weird stuff like this. You know, candy toys and, like, things that you would get from, like, gumball machines and, you know... Uh, the, the cheap 99 cent toys that you would find at the gas stations and stuff like that. I've always loved that kind of thing. It's like, I don't know, they just have this sort of like really weird, wacky, retro charm to them. But I know from the set that come from Accruitments, it act, it's actually this purple Hydra, <laughs> right? Which is um, that, yeah, this sort of purple Hydra that looks just like the green one, right? This is the green harpy, <laughs> right? This is Lady Gorgon, even though the green harpy is, is like blue, right? And there's a variant where it has a, a green face. This is Lady Gorgon, this is King Captor, this is the Hound of Hades, Hades. And then the green guy is Prince Reptilian, and the Hydra is, of course, Lord Hydra, right? So I think what's going on is that this green one is a bootleg of the purple one because the purple one is the one that comes in the set, <laughs> right? And I know that there's also red and blue hydras as well. I've seen pictures of those out on the internet and stuff. So these came on a hard a card back that was a, a Bendy Monsters card back like that and they were just sort of tied there with um, wires. And that's pretty much it. And on the back of the card, you can see the remit, the other two sets and what they looked like. And they came two to a card, right? You can see their names, and, and right there is the purple hydra. So let's take a closer look at these. This Let's take a look at the green harpy, who's actually blue. <laughs> at least my example is. Um, so they have that kind of real spindly, kind of vintage bendy sort of thing going. You know, there's just wires in there. Um, she actually has boobs. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. And I like, you know, I like this, the, the sort of very, like, vintage kind of old school sculpts that you get on these things, you know. Um, which makes, leads me to believe that they were, like, you know, either patterned, I mean, it leads me to believe that they may have actually come from something that was made way back in the 70s or whatever. Although, maybe not, maybe they were just made like that to kind of look like them. But, you know, I always thought I always thought this kind of stuff was cool. You know, it kind of looks like folk art to me. So we got uh, the Green Harpy. Kind of cool. Let's set her back there. We have Lady Gorgon, who's like a, you know... That's what Medusa is, by the way. All of you guys out there, Medusa is a Gorgon. <laughs> right? So, read your D&D. Anyway, you can kind of see her uh, horrible face there. She's like screaming, you know. Ah, ah, right? snakes for hair and all that you know she's got her got her pink uh, her yellow bell bottoms and her feet are the same color as her pants for some reason <laughs> right anyway that's uh, pretty cool we got King Captar who I think is supposed to be a giant so I think this is supposed to be King Kong because if you look at his hand there's actually a little person hanging out in there right so he's got Fey, uh, Fey Ray you know in his hand there <laughs> so He's supposed to be a, you know, giant uh, Godzilla kaiju-sized or whatever. So that's kind of cool. There we go. And we got Prince Reptilian here, who is pretty detailed. Um, I'm digging his uh, scales, you know. Has this sort of, like, Martian, old-school, 1950s alien kind of look to him. You know, looks like a Halloween mask, right? I like that. Uh, I like the, the wings and, you know big uh, bendy feet <laughs> right um, then the uh, hound of hell okay so this is Cerebus but you know he looks a little derpy you know Cerebus is uh, not very vicious there 
<laughs> and he's very, very skinny. You know, these, these bendy things are always really skinny like that. So that's kind of cool, though, you know. And then, of course, our two hydras, which we already looked at, but, you know, what the hell? Let's look at them again. So you can kind of see they're, they're pretty much the exact same thing. You know, they've got that sort of vintage look, you know, vintage sculpt. Anyway. So, yeah, you know, these things are um, not that expensive, right? But they are hard to find. It's, it's hard to find a complete set of these. And the thing about it is that most of the time, the people that have them don't even know where they got them from. This, this, this kind of thing was sold in, like, novelty shops and stuff. Uh, um, I think I got this one um, separately. I found it in a, in a store in, in Hollywood somewhere, <laughs> right? And then, um, the, and then these two I got in a set. These two, I found the set, and then, and then when I, then I noticed, I was like, oh crap, this is like an entire set. So, eventually, you know, hunting through eBay auctions and stuff, I found the rest of them. Um, I actually found King Captar there, like on a, a small sort of like indie toy, um, toy shop online, which are becoming harder and harder to find nowadays. You know, it's like pretty much everything is getting taken over by eBay or Amazon. And if it's not there, then you're out, you're out of luck, <laughs> right? But you know, hunt around. There's still a lot of little in small um, mom and pop uh, toy stores on the internet and stuff like that. And you can find these kinds of things. You just got to keep looking. But, you know, I wouldn't pay, if you're looking for this sort of thing, don't pay too much for it. I don't, I don't think I paid more than $10 for any individual um, item here, you know. And to be honest, it's really not worth it, <laughs> you know. I mean, in, unless you like this kind of thing, because I really do. I really like these sorts of, this sort of, like, weird vintage, you know, strange art toys like this. I really like this kind of thing, and it, it's not for everybody, you know. I know a lot of you at home probably are looking at this right now going, wow, man, you're like wasting your money here and it's like yeah well you know it, they may never go up in value you know but it's not about just buying stuff that's valuable you know it's about buying the stuff you like right and this is the kind of stuff I like I don't know it's it's they it just uh because <laughs> you know why you know why I like it because when I was a kid this is like what I had you know what I mean I had like the, the expensive he-man toys and stuff but I also had these like weird little wacky things that I could like save my lunch money up and buy at the corner store, <laughs> right? So anyway, that's all I got folks. Adios.